Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the prototyping the physical design. So basically to design something, we need to do something, right? Yes. So once you have designed something in your PC or in your computer, if you want to get it into the real world, you should use something, right? Yes. So there are multiple options, guys. So basically the most popular option nowadays is nothing but 3D printing. I hope everyone knows about it, right? Yes. So basically using 3D printing, you can create any object to duplicate with plastic. I don't know exactly what they use, but it looks like plastic guys. Okay. So basically I never used it and I have no idea specifically what they use. They'll be calling it as CMM something they'll be calling, right? I don't know exactly. Okay. Sorry for that. Okay. So in this lecture, we'll be discussing about laser cutting and in the next lecture, we will be discussing about the 3D printing guys. Okay. Yes. Guys, you can expect a direct question from here. So please concentrate for some time. Okay. Yes. So laser cutting. So laser cutting means from the name only you are saying. So you are using some laser beams to cut some things, right? Yes. So laser cutting is a technology that uses a laser to cut materials. While typically uses used for industrial manufacturing application, it is also starting to be used in schools, small businesses and hobbyists. Okay. So laser cutting works by directing the output of a high powered laser most common through optics so basically once you go to youtube and type guys you'll be getting many videos so basically it can even cut the metal pieces so basically a a machinery which can cut the metal pieces will be having a laser guys so that while it moves so basically assume that you want to cut this triangle so assume that this is the laser so it will point it and it will just move in this way and the automatically the metal piece will fall down so that is that much powerful so it can even cut the metal so that much heat or that much powerful that particular laser is so that is the laser cutter guys okay so the laser cutter range ranges from a desktop models to industrial units so basically even we are having a small components to do the same process okay so most of the laser cutter is given over the bed okay so this is a flat area that holds okay so you can just cut it anywhere guys so there so there are even some small small things small small laser cutters also okay so the computer controls the two axis movements and based on that the power of the beam will be adjusted and it will start cutting the things okay so the size of the bed of laser cutter and the power of the laser are two things that are always kept in mind so basically if you keep the power of the laser cutter too high and if you just pass a paper it will burn guys so if that much powerful it will be there right yes okay so the lower powered models do not cut through the metal so basically they do not cut through the metal and worse as they shiny surfaces of any metal does not does excellent job so basically if you are taking some low end machine in that situation it cannot cut any kind of metal and if you take any kind of smooth surface it cannot cut guys so that is a small disadvantage okay yes so basically here we will be creating the bitmaps guys basically okay so the file format or software which you need to provide your design is either bitmap or vector design guys okay so any one of them you can provide and based on your measurements and all those things it will cut okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about this laser cutting so in the next lecture we'll be going through the 3d printing guys okay okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching